Hi, and today we're going to make some dice. So let's get into Fusion and then we'll get later on and start 3D printing it. So to start off making our uh, dice, what we'll do is we'll move across here into Fusion and I've got Fusion opened up just here. Uh, so what we'll do is start by uh, making a whole new sketch and we'll just select a plane, we'll just make it this bottom plane here and now we've got it opened up, what we'll do is we'll just grab a rectangle open the rectangle up, we'll select it into the center so it's got somewhere where it's going to be locked to we'll lock it to that center one and what we'll do is press in probably 50 mil then we'll press tab to move to the other one and then we'll press 50 mil that way it makes a square and we'll press enter now we'll make up another square inside of this one so we'll just do rectangle select the center again and we'll press in 30 mil tab 30 mil enter and this time what we're going to do is select the lines and we'll press x just to make it so it's just a drawing line and x and x there we go and then what we'll do is we'll select some points we'll get the point tool We'll select that point, that point, that point, that one. And because the, the other side of the one is going to be a six, what we'll do is we'll also select these edges here and that one there. So now we've got all the dots marked for this side of the square and the opposite side. Um, what we'll do now is stop the sketch. We'll press on um, extrude, select that square there. We'll extrude that up by 50 mil. That makes our cube ready for the die. Now what we'll do now is, on the bottom side of it, we're gonna make that our main part. So we'll just turn that sketch back on so we can see it. Press create, we'll do a sphere, we'll select the center one, like that. We want it to be 10 mil, press enter. Now back onto the top side of it. Select on top, we'll just press escape to get out of that tool. Actually, there we go. And then we just select that face there, press sketch, and then what we can do then is bring those elements back up. We'll just add the points into there, 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 and there. So now we've got those points there, let's stop the sketch, go to create sphere there we go that's how we do it sphere select on that one enter oops sphere if we find any um shortcuts to to, to select this sphere like that, it might be a bit easier. Just let us know if you know of any. And there we go, and we've got the six, and we've got the one. So we do that one, there's the one side, whoops. And there's the other side. So now we just press on there, home. And we'll just do this side here. Press on here, sketch. And I just held the center wheel then just to drag that up like that. Um, so to draw this one here, we're going to do the four and the three. So we'll just draw this sketch. Um, we'll make a triangle. So what we'll do, we might just do a center line. Bring that up. And we'll just type in there 25 because that's halfway up that cube. And then from there, we can draw our center square. And we'll make this one to be 30, tab 30, enter. We want to make these just drawing lines, so select it, X. Just construction lines there. And then we'll do our points. There, 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 there. And then we can just press create sphere and 
I'm going to do that one. And create sphere. We want to just align that up. There we go. And create sphere. Create sphere. Like that. Now we just move to the other side. And just escape from that and press on that side. And we will make a new sketch. And what we'll do is we'll just grab those dots again. Um, we want the point and we just want to get diagonals. So one, two, and three. Take the sketch. Align that up because that was easier when that happened like that. And then create sphere on there. Sphere. And that didn't work. Create sphere. And create sphere. So there we go. Now what we've got, if I show you this, move that down a bit. Oops. And you can see it's got all that all the way around. So we'll just press there at home. Ah, yeah, it looks like they added an extra circle on there. So we just might want to find out which one that was. That one there. So we'll just delete this one. And there we go. That should fix it back up. And then we've got the three and the four. So now we're going to have to put the two and the five on the other side there. So we'll select this side here, start the sketch. Just press the center of my scroll wheel to drag that across. And to make this one here, we'll just do the same as we did on the other one. We'll make a line halfway up into the center. Make that 25, oops, 25 enter and then we'll just get a rectangle tool we'll just do 30 tab 30 like that I'll make these all construction and then we need to draw the dots to be so we're gonna make two we might just do it this way one there and one there and then when we make the other side with five, I guess we're gonna need the other, so we'll need the whole lot there. So let's stop the sketch, and we'll just draw to that face because that is easier. Sphere, do this one, enter, sphere, enter. Then we can turn this around. out there, select on this face and we'll just draw another sketch and we'll just put the points on this side and we'll just do the whole lot of these like that and then we'll just align it to that side, create a sphere did it in the wrong spot. So if I undo, great, sphere, there we go, great, sphere, we keep going doing all of these and what I've been doing is selecting that side first because that seems like a better way to do it and there we go that should be the dice all done six four three two and one there we have it one die all done 
But what we'll do now is we'll just make it a little bit pretty because you don't really want it to be solid square like this. So we'll just get a uh, modify and we'll just do a fillet. So we can just press F to get to that fillet a bit quicker. And we select all the sides like this. Then we'll grab this, turn it around, and then, oops. And then we'll select these other last few. That one, that one, and that one. There we go. So now we just type in, what are we gonna need? Probably three mil. That looks pretty good, I think. And then home that back again. Turn all these sketches off. And we've got a nice little die. Oh right, yeah, now we're ready to send this off to the 3D printer. So what we can do to send this off to the 3D printer is we'll just close all these sketches up, grab that body, and now we can just right click the body and save it as SDL. So once we save this as SDL, just going to take a moment here, it's closing my program, there we go, it's found other sheets, and we're going to get it to open up in Cura. So we'll leave it as high, so we get as much detail into these little curves here as we can, so they're not too jagged. Um, and looks like all the settings are right. So we open up Cura, Cure is loading up there now. Just taking a moment. Now we've got the die opened up in Cura, so we just need to check some settings. We've got it uh, just point two resolutions are uh, fine for a job like this one. So what we'll do is we'll just go up into to the layer view and we'll just check what the inside is going to look like. And we'll just lower that down by a little bit and we want to make it fairly solid I'd say this would be pretty solid doing it like this um, what we might do is maybe reduce a tiny bit of the infill and the wall size we might even increase the wall size so we'll do wall thickness wall line count we'll make that three just to make it a bit more solid we've got an extra line there we've got three lines there now um, and then we'll also do our infill is 18 percent we might make it up to about 40. ah no we want to go the other way what am i doing maybe make it 10 percent 40 is getting a bit extreme Okay, that should go all right. We might make it 15%. We might leave it at 15 because what happens is when you put it back at 10, um, it's going to try and run over the top of them on the top layer and make the top layer all uh, bumpy and rough. So. Uh, we don't really want to do that. So now we can just um, put in my SD card and we'll save this off and send it over to the printer.
And there we have it. It's the finished dice. So, looks pretty awesome. Does it work? Look at that. It's a dice for you. Okay, if you'd like to see more of those, then um, please make sure you subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. All right, thank you. Catch you later.